Hi there, Toy here. It's 2019 and I know, I'm late. <laughs> so, I had all these ideas about all these um, videos that I was going to do at the end of the year, leading into the new year, and of course, none of that happened, but that's okay. I haven't given up on my ambitions to make this channel halfway decent, so um, I just thought I would do a little bit of intro and let you know what my plans are. So, I'm going to be doing my reading challenge again this year. I do it every year and I actually do really good with it. I just am not very good at reporting it back to you guys. So I'm going to make an effort to do that every month, but I am doing it a little bit different this year. I'm not setting the expectations of trying to read all these titles that I wanted to read. Um, but I, there are a few things that I'm keeping the same. I'm going to set the goal for 60. That's what I had last year. kind of struggled with that. So I thought even though I met that, I, I would that would work on that again. And so one thing that I'm doing is for the month of January, I'm literally just trying to get caught up on books that I didn't finish in December. One thing that I'm doing is I kind of set myself up for kind of a, not failure, but no, that's definitely not the word. I'm reading a collection of stories. I am reading all of the original Wizard of Oz stories by Frank L. Baum in one like box set. So I'm technically reading 14 books, but it's only going to be one review at the end. And I did that for a reason. Um, I like to have something light to read from time to time. Not that everything that I read is heavy, but sometimes it's intense, sometimes it's dark, sometimes it's scary. And so whenever I want something light to read, I, I just continue wherever I left off with the Oz books. So um, I'm finishing up um, American Gods. I'm finishing up uh, an arc that I believe I'm allowed to talk about. I just can't review it yet. One of my favorite authors, Russell Nolte, has done a novelization of his very popular graphic novel, Katrina Hates the Dead, and this is called Katrina Hates the Apocalypse. It's going to be a whole new universe. Um, I'll tell you more about that later. Um, also finishing up a... <laughs> Believe it or not, um, it's it's a holiday ghost story. Um, it's not really scary so far. I may have to put it down and come back to it later because I think I waited too long to get into it. And I want to make sure I do the book justice. So I'll, I'll tell you more about that one later. I'm not even going to give you the title right now. And I think that's all I have right now. There's I think there's something else that I finished, but I don't remember right now. Anyway... Uh, another thing that you can expect from me is author interviews. It's been so long since I've done author interviews on this channel. I'm very excited about them. I already have three in the works. Um, I'm interviewing author Christina Wigand, um, author Joanne Lipford, and author Jennifer Egert, um, <laughs> Irvig. I knew I was going to say her name wrong. Jennifer Irvig. So you can look forward to those and hopefully I'll be able to line up some more author interviews down the road. Um, I am also going to be doing some videos over on my other channel. It's brand new. It's Lit Carnival. You may have heard me talk about it before, but I'll always kind of do a little update to let you know what's happening over on that other channel if you're interested. Right now, I have a presentation that I did called How to Write Book Reviews or Not. And it's based off my new book, um, Ain't Nobody Got Time for Book Reviews. And it's a really cool presentation if you want to check it out. It's about 15, maybe 16 minutes long. I don't know. But if you're interested, definitely I'll leave a link below. Um, I plan to hopefully by the end of this month have a series of story time videos that I'm making of the children's books that I've written. This might be me sticking my foot in my mouth. Um, putting my books out there for people to read and watch for free um, may not boost book sales in the slightest but I'm just kind of at the point now where I just want to get my stories out there I'm hoping that good-natured honest people especially any teachers who come across it will you know see the books and want to support me but if not it is what it is I just want to share them I would love to be compensated but obviously that's not why I'm in this. 
So that'll be over at Lit Carnival too. When that's available, I'll tell you guys about it and share that link. On this channel, however, I'm going to try to do better <laughs> about my updates. Um, I'm going to try to do some tags from time to time if I can. Um, I'll definitely do some hauls. There were so many times when I had really cool stuff to haul and I just didn't do it. And I feel silly kind of going back and saying, oh, this is what I got back in November. I'm not going to do that. But moving forward, I'll be doing more hauls just to share some cool things with you guys. Um, I will continue my Toy Reads series because I have lots of stuff that I haven't read that I could read. Um, I can read things that I've published, things that I'm reading, and works in progress. So I'll try to do more of that. And I've been promising to do writing updates for ages. Maybe one day it'll actually happen. So if you're still here, thank you so much. And I hope I'm able to get myself together and maybe entertain you a little bit this year. So here's to 2019, <laughs> and that's all I have for now. Bye-bye.